Hi, I'm Brett, and today we've got another quickie update on our iPhone 5 to give you information about how to look after your car. And what we're talking about today is the SST transmission in the current model Mitsubishi Evo 10s, uh, the Lancer Rally Arts, and this transmission from Getrag is becoming a more common replacement transmission for other model cars as well. Remembering this is a manual transmission with wet clutches electronically controlled by the ECU within the transmission. It's not an automatic transmission, it doesn't have a torque converter, it's not a manual transmission because it doesn't have a manual operated clutch pedal. As an example, this is the transfer case that is taken out of the car because the car is four wheel drive and around the back I'll get my cameraman. This is the complete transmission with the wet clutch packs inside here which I'll show you in a minute and this whole assembly then goes up into here and is driven off this flywheel and this input drive off the back of the engine. Uh, this particular car has got our XC kit, it's uh, quicker than a modified Evo 10. So inside here we've done some modifications with the uh, wet clutches to give it more drive because the factory standard clutches wear out over time like any manual transmission clutch. But more so when you put more power through these transmissions you then have to do modifications with um, oil and the electronic updates which I'll talk about in a minute. But I'll get my cameraman to turn around here and these are the wet clutches as an assembly um, that are used inside the transmission. Now, this is a very, very simplified way to understand what they look like, but the complicated part is knowing how to assemble them and remove them and refit them. But also what we wanted to talk about was the importance of understanding how this transmission works. There is electronic uh, software that communicates via a laptop through the body control harness of this car that communicates with the ECU in the transmission which is separate to the ECU that controls the engine. There is a communication channel between them two. However, there is no reliable software that independently controls and is allows the ECU in the transmission to be adjusted yet anywhere in the world that we're aware of. You can make some small changes, but the thing I want to talk about at the moment is the importance of the setting of the ECU in this transmission when you're doing modifications to the car engine as well as when you're doing upgrades to the transmission as well as these clutch packs and there are the teach-in process where you tell the ECU to control and modulate the transmission clutch packs and reset all their tolerances. There is a teach-in process for the gear shift mechanism. There is a teach-in process which a lot of people don't know for modifications such as boost control and that is a really unusual one. When you put the transmission into the teach-in process mode for boost control, the engine RPMs goes up to about four to 5,000 RPM and the actual transmission puts load on the engine through these wet clutches and measures the boost control and then modulates the boost control bleed off to allow the transmission to predict the way the modified turbo or the change in the turbo will then affect the torque and the way the transmission has to allow it to change gears. These are all the things a lot of people don't understand and these are the things that can have a really big effect on the way this transmission can work reliably and not reliably. Unfortunately we're seeing a greater chance of people these days doing modifications and thinking the transmission's working properly when actually it's flaring really badly, it's slipping, it's effectively like driving a manual transmission with a slipping clutch. These transmissions are a lot more advanced than what a lot of people understand, so if you're modifying these cars with these transmissions, it's really important you make sure that you get the car correctly analysed and programmed with these teaching processes and the software that provides that opportunity. So there you have it. Uh, get track gearbox SST six speed electronic manual transmission in the Evos and the Rally Arts and the other models coming around the world. Hopefully this info has given you more info about understanding more about your car. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter. Make a comment here on this video channel. I know those videos are short and sweet without any fancy uh, drop-in shots and things like that but it's done in a hurry to give you the information as quick as we can. I really hope no matter where you are in the world it's helped you learn a bit more about your car. But for today, on behalf of the MRT Performance Team here in Sydney, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.